only two individuals have descended to the planet's deepest point, the Challenger Deep in the Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench. Still, many have successfully conquered Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth. The Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped gash in the Earth's crust that stretches more than 1,500 miles in length and 43 miles broad on average. It is located in the Western Pacific, east of the Philippines, and an average of around 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands. The distance between the surface of the ocean and the Mariana Trench's lowest point, the Challenger Deep, located about 200 miles southwest of the U.S. territory of Guam, is nearly 7 miles. Mount Everest would be more than a kilometer underground if thrown into the Mariana Trench. As part of the Marianas Trench Marine National Monument, President George W. Bush declared in 2009 that the bulk of the Mariana Trench is now a U.S. safety space. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service have granted permission to explore the monument, including the Serena Deep. You will know now that in this video, we will be discussing about Mariana Trench and will be answering a few mostly asked questions. How was the Mariana Trench first formed? Are there any weird species that live in the Mariana Trench? Who founded the trench first? The Mariana Trench was formed by the action of two large slabs of oceanic crust colliding in a subduction zone. One portion of the oceanic crust is pushed and pulled into the other at a subduction zone, descending into the Earth's mantle, the layer beneath the crust. A deep trench arises just above the bend in the falling crust where the two sections of crust join. The Pacific Ocean crust is stretching beneath the Philippines crust in this scenario. Where it dips into the trench, the Pacific crust, is also known as a tectonic plate, is around 180 million years old. Compared to the Pacific plate, the Philippine plate is younger and smaller. At subduction zones, the cold, dense crust sinks back into the mantle and is destroyed, said Nicholas van der Elst, a seismologist at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory in Palisades, New York. Despite its depth, the trench is not the location closest to the Earth's center. The radius at the poles is about 16 miles shorter than the radius at the equator because the planet bulges at the equator. As a result, portions of the seafloor beneath the Arctic Ocean are nearer to the Earth's center than the Challenger Deep. The water pressure on the trench floor is more than 8 tons per square inch, which is crushing. This is the equivalent of having 50 jumbo planes heaped on top of a person at sea level. Dumbo Octopus The pelagic umbrella octopus genus Grimpotheuthis includes the Dumbo Octopus. The name comes from the creature's likeness to Dumbo, the titular figure from the 1941 Disney film. The Dumbo octopus was found in 1883, but the first species was not identified until the 1990s, after the invention of the first deep-sea submersible vessel. The Dumbo octopus is a little octopus measuring between 20 and 30 centimeters in length. The gelatinous body of the octopus permits it to live in the high-pressure environments it prefers. However, its body is held together by high pressure, and if it were to be transferred to the surface, it would be unable to function correctly. Goblin Shark The goblin shark is an uncommon shark species. Its odd and creepy look has been compared to that of a fossil. It has a peculiar snout shape and pink-toned skin. It has a long flat body, a projecting jaw, and thin razor-sharp teeth. They can develop between 10 and 13 feet long and are rarely observed by humans. This is because they reside at roughly 100 meters in the ocean. Frilled Shark German ichthyologist Ludwig H. P. Dodelein found the frilled shark in the 19th century. Because of its eerie appearance and the form of its mouth, it is often described as a living fossil. The shark has an eel-like body with dark brown to gray coloration and amphistyle, which refers to the jaw's articulation with the head. Their molars are widely spaced in the upper jaw, ranging from 19 to 28, and in the lower jaw from 21 to 29. They prefer to live near the ocean bottom, like in the Mariana Trench and other biologically active places. Sea Cucumber The sea cucumber is a tiny echinoderm belonging to the Holothuroidea class of echinoderms. They're marine animals with a leathery texture to their skin. Their bodies are long and can be found worldwide on the bottom. Around 1,700 Holothurian species worldwide, most located in the Asian Pacific region. Some of them reside in the Mariana Trench's depths. They get their name from their form, which matches a cucumber. Sea cucumbers are occasionally harvested for human consumption, although they perform a vital function in marine ecosystems. For example, they clean their habitats by breaking down debris and other materials. Snailfish Snailfish are strange and fascinating species that may be found in the Arctic and Antarctic oceans. Science has identified over 410 species of snailfish. Other species, however, remain unknown. 
They reside at depths ranging from the surface to roughly 8,000 meters. Unfortunately, snailfish is understudied, and little is known about their lives and activities. They are, however, scaleless and have loose skin. Their teeth are tiny, and their heads contain large sensory pores. Humans and the Trench During a globe circumnavigation in 1875, the HMS Challenger detected the trench using newly created hearing equipment. HMS Challenger 2 sounded the trench once more in 1951. In 1960, the Bathyscaphe Trist, a deep boat, reached the bottom of Challenger Deep. It was crewed by U.S. Navy Lieutenant Dom Walsh and Swiss scientist Jacques Picard, and was the first vessel to do so. The Japanese unmanned submarine Kaiko collected samples and data from the trench in 1995. In 2009, the U.S. sent Nereus, a hybrid remotely controlled vehicle, to the Challenger Deep floor. The car was roughly 10 hours on the seabed. In 2012, Cameron piloted the Deep Sea Challenger to the sea floor, but he was unable to take any images due to hydraulic fluid leak. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution later received this submersible. Interesting facts about the Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is the world's deepest oceanic trench. With 1,600 rhinos on its head, it is perilous due to its darkness and depth. It is also hot and freezing. The Mariana Trench is home to sharks. The field shark is a fascinating prehistoric creature that dwells in the open ocean. On November 1, 2008, at Cali, Switzerland, Jacques Picard perished in the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench was found in 1875 as part of a global exploration project and named after the adjacent Mariana Islands. The Mariana Trench's most astounding feature is its depth, not its length. Animals that dwell in the Mariana Trench must adapt to tremendous pressure and darkness. The Mariana Trench is more profound than Mount Everest. The mountain's peak would be submerged for more than a mile. The Mariana Trench is home to over 200 different bacteria and small animals. Some people believe the shark or megalodon exists, however, there have been no confirmed sightings. Many people assume Mariana Trench is frigid, however, it is also hot. It's strange to talk about Mariana Trench because of its deep abyss and mystery. Why is Mariana Trench so famous? It has the ocean's deepest touchpoint. 90% of the trench species are yet to be discovered. Has anyone been to the Mariana Trench's bottom? Swiss diver is a real name. In 1960, Jacques Picard became the first person to dive to the Mariana Trench's bottom. The HMS Challenger 1 and HMS Challenger 2 sounding equipment are located in the deepest area of the trench. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to get updated about our newest videos, click the notification bell to never miss one. Stay tuned to this channel for the next video. Until then, see you soon.